Do you think your metabolism is just your body's way of burning calories? What if I told you it's actually your body's entire energy management system, governing everything from fat loss to hormone health to your immune system? And here's the truth most people miss. Your metabolism isn't just fast or slow, it's adaptive. And if you don't understand how it works, it can feel like you're doing everything right and still not getting anywhere on your fitness journey. Let's change that. My name is Coach Jen. I help women lose fat and build muscle and feel confident in their bodies without cutting carbs or spending more hours in the gym. I specialize in metabolism, body composition, and performance. So if you've been working hard consistently in the gym, eating healthy, and still not seeing the results that you want on your fitness journey, you're in the right place. My clients are high achievers. They do the work, but they're tired of the guesswork. They're tired of doing everything right and not getting the results that they're looking for. In this series, I'm breaking down exactly how your metabolism works so you can stop spinning your wheels and start getting the results from the effort that you're putting in. Subscribe to this channel for weekly fitness and nutrition updates. And if you want daily fitness and nutrition updates, follow me on Instagram at jenwallfitness. Let's clear something up right away. Metabolism is not just how many calories you burn during a workout or how fast your body runs. It's the sum total of the chemical reactions in your body that keeps you alive and functioning. That includes converting food into energy, building and repairing tissues, regulating your hormones, managing your body temperature, even protection from infection. Your metabolism is the engine running under the hood 24 seven and even when you're sleeping. And there are two key branches to understand. Catabolism is your body's breakdown mode. It's when you're breaking down food or body tissue for energy. Anabolism is your body's build and repair mode. This is when your body uses energy to grow, recover, and rebuild tissue. Here's something that's rarely explained well. Your metabolism isn't always in burn mode or build mode. It's always shifting between these two states of catabolism and anabolism. Now here's the key. You move between these two states constantly, sometimes multiple times in the same day, depending on factors such as food intake. When you're fasted or under eating, your body leans more on catabolism. It breaks down stored energy, like glycogen or fat, AKA carbs or fat, to keep you going. When you eat, especially protein and carbs, your body shifts into an anabolic state. Insulin is released, nutrients are delivered to cells, and you get the raw materials for recovery and muscle growth. Another factor is exercise. Training, especially resistance training or high intensity workouts is a catabolic stressor. You're breaking down muscle tissue, depleting glycogen, and increasing cortisol. But after training, when you refuel and rest, your body rebounds into an anabolic phase. And this is where muscle repair and metabolic adaptation occur. Now what happens next is crucial. If you don't eat enough, especially protein and carbs, your body stays in a catabolic state. You feel drained, recovery suffers, and your metabolism slows down. But if you refuel and rest, your body shifts into an anabolic state. That's when you repair tissue, rebuild muscle, and reinforce metabolism to work more efficiently. This switch between breaking down and building up is always happening sometimes multiple times per day. And it's influenced by what and how much you eat, your quality of sleep, and how much stress you're under. I help my clients get out of that cycle. We don't just track calories, we restore metabolic damage. We use strategic training, fueling, and recovery to get your body to respond again. So if you've been working hard but spinning your wheels, you can click the link down below to apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'll show you how to feel smarter, train better, and finally feel like your effort is working with your body and not against it so that you can get stronger, leaner, and more confident in your body. So what's the sweet spot? It's balancing both catabolic and anabolic activity throughout your week. You train hard, you eat enough protein and enough carbs, you recover and sleep deeply, you go for walks, and you have a high NEAT, which is non-exercise activity thermogenesis, you manage stress, and you do stress relieving activities. This metabolic dance is what your body does every single day. 
And learning how to work with it, not against it, is the key to looking and feeling your best. So when people say my metabolism is broken, what they're usually feeling is that their energy balance feels off. They're low energy, they're storing more fat than they want, or they're unable to recover. But that's not just a burn more calories issue, that's a lifestyle issue, that's an exercise issue, that's a nutrition issue. Your metabolism can change according to those factors. How does your body actually burn energy throughout the day? We'll break this down into something called TDEE, or Total Daily Energy Expenditure. It includes four main components. Your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate, it accounts for about 60 to 70% of your total daily calories burned. This is the amount of energy your body needs to just stay alive. Breathing, blood flow, organ function, brain activity, this is your baseline burn. Your BMR is heavily influenced by muscle mass, age, sex, and genetics. That's why two women who are the same weight can have wildly different energy needs if one has more lean mass. The next factor is going to be TEF, which is the thermic effect of food. This accounts for about 10% of your calories burned. This is how many calories your body burns in order to digest and process food that you eat. And here's a huge tip. Protein has the highest thermic effect, up to about 30%. So if you eat about 100 calories of protein, your body might burn 30 of those just by breaking it down. Carbs has about a 5 to 10% TEF and fats only a 0 to 3%. So when you hear that protein boosts metabolism, this is one of the reasons why. The third component is going to be your exercise activity thermogenesis, which is EAT. This accounts for about 5% of your calories burned. This is what you burn during your structured workouts such as lifting, cardio, or classes. Surprisingly, even if you train five days a week, this is still a small portion of your daily expenditure. And unless you're training at an elite level, you're not burning as many calories as you think, which is why just working out more doesn't always solve the problem of fat loss. Your non-exercise activity thermogenesis, or NEAT, is your fourth component. This is where things get interesting. NEAT includes all the little movements you do throughout your day, such as walking to your car, getting up to get a glass of water, cleaning your kitchen, talking with your hands, fidgeting, so on and so forth. And these can add up fast, and between two people of the same weight, NEAT alone can differ by as much as 2,000 calories per day. And that's not me misspeaking. That's the difference between a deficit and a surplus. Now here's the part that nobody talks about in mainstream fitness advice. Your metabolism is not a calculator. It's a thermostat. It adapts to your environment, energy intake, training, sleep, and even stress. If you cut calories too hard for too long, your metabolism slows down in order to conserve energy. Your body isn't broken, it's just trying to protect you. And if you eat enough and build muscle, your body starts burning more energy because it trusts that fuel, aka food, is coming in. Then you move more, recover better, and burn more without even trying. And that's why two women can eat the same macros, do the same workouts, and get completely different results. Because one has a metabolism that is stuck in conservation mode, the other has trained her metabolism to trust her again. So why am I telling you all this? Because if you're watching this, there's a good chance you've been doing a lot of the right things and still not seeing results. You're working out four to five days a week, you're eating healthy, you're trying to eat less and move more, and yet your body isn't changing the way you want. And I'm here to tell you it's not your fault. You've been handed a simplistic equation of calories in versus calories out, but nobody taught you how that equation actually works under the hood. And that's why as a coach, I help women understand and work with their metabolisms so they stop spinning their wheels with programs that don't consider the full picture. Because when you understand this, your body starts working better, your body starts responding, and you actually start seeing results that last. But what happens when your metabolism adapts in the wrong direction? When cutting calories stops working and your body starts fighting back? That's exactly what we're going to break down in part two of this series. And trust me, you don't want to miss that. Like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful, and if you're serious about getting results that match your effort, you don't have to do it alone. I coach women through exactly this process of getting leaner, stronger, and more confident without cutting carbs or spending more hours in the gym. So if you're ready to stop the guesswork and start transforming, click the link below to apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep your promises to yourself and believe in yourself, it's already yours.